chat GPT has taken over the world, mid journey, Dolly, you know, Bard, all of them, right? Tell me your take on, uh, you know, how AI is kind of transforming, in your case, the media landscape um, in terms of like how people are utilizing it to help them navigate the media landscape a little bit besides what you do. Right. So the biggest transformation we see going on is that generative AI is making it cheaper to create content. And it's specifically useful for creating bad content because good content is still complicated to create. So what we're seeing, and I think we're going to see it more and more going forward, is that the quantity of bad content is going to grow faster than everything else. And the signal to noise ratio is going to go down, right? And you're seeing this already with the clickbait outlets out there, where before that, one single writer could produce 10, maybe 15 articles per day, and now they can easily produce 500. Yeah, it's right? crazy. And it's going to get only worse. Right, but you're not seeing investigative journals suddenly publishing things more than after right. three months of investigation, right? So it's essentially like the development of spam in the mid '90s, where we need to create spam filters, otherwise we're going to drown. And that's the second side of this coin where we come in, and where I think a lot of other companies need to pick up the mantle. If somebody's creating all this junk, then we need AI-based tools to filter out all this junk as well.